to it. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to another update. Uh, I hope you had a good uh, week off. I didn't do an update l last week um, for my birthday and maybe maybe a little bit for my uh, stress levels as well. Um, I hope everybody's ha having a fine autumn if you're in the nor northern hemisphere. And uh, let's see what we got up to th this week in Inkscape. So... Uh, I started basically just finishing off some of the work that I did on the uh, objects panel. Um, basically making sure that the uh, select indicators would uh, highlight the rows correctly according to their s s selection. Uh, there was a whole bunch of code cleanup as well to ch just make it more efficient and easier to maintain. Um, the good news is is that the last update that I gave you, I said that the um, feature probably wouldn't land until Inkscape 1.2. 1, 1 uh, uh, a, no a fellow Inkscape developer, Thomas, from Germany, um, is keen on seeing the fe feature into 1.1. 1, 1 .1. So if we can get it in, uh, in uh, um, below the freeze, then we're, we're going to aim for that. Um, he's coming back to me soon with a with a proposal for changes to the code that will hopefully move it for forwards. So thank thank you to him because like moving these things for forwards, it it takes time and it takes effort and you've got to prioritize which things you you want to do. The more people we have involved, the the easier it, the easier it is. Um, which is precisely why I I've been doing this Patreon actually is that. Um, the more the more users I can get involved into funding, not just me, but like any of the uh, Inkscape developers, I believe that uh, Inkscape development itself will move forwards faster. It'll be better maintained. It'll crash less. It'll be faster, uh, and ultimately, it'll actually aim for users' needs. That's the kind of uh, core conceit: is that users need to be served, and you know, together we can make this ha happen. Um, so I put that aside so that I could work on the actual uh, boot screen. Uh, previous update, I, I mentioned that I'd done the um, user interface side of it. Basically, I designed the whole thing in Glade with a Python demo. And this week, I, I worked on actually integrating that into Inkscape, making sure that I could boot the, the, the window up. All of the functionality that's inside of it um, correctly is hooked into the right things. Uh, we're slowly getting to the point where we now have a, um, a set of themes that we want, a set of keyboard keys that we want. Uh, units, we're not sure yet how that's going to integrate, but we'll work it out. Um, and then the rest of it's going to be pretty much straightforward. Forwards, loading recent documents, uh, loading a different template. Uh, all that stuff should be fairly straightforward. Forward. And then it's just a matter of making sure that it boots up at the begin, right at the beginning when you launch Inkscape and then uh, making sure like for instance it, it, it continues to load bits of Inkscape in the background so that even though you're looking at this lovely interface uh, it's not just idle it's kind of loading fonts and other things um, but that's going to have to come sort of in a refinement step because we the, the game the game right now is just to make sure that we can get it in um, another item um, is that we did a bit of training for uh, creating themes. So, one of the one of the interesting things is that uh, GTK theme building isn't isn't a skill that is is well known in especially in the Inkscape community. And some of the user experience people were uh, asking developers to kind of help them make themes. And the truth is, is that developers don't really know how to make themes. We're we're kind of uh, at a bit of a loss ourselves because it's all. Um, it's a, it's a different language and a different skill. So I sat down with um, some of the UX people and uh, we did a bit of a tra training session on Big Big Blue Button, uh, basically going through um, what, what it takes to make a theme. Now, if you're interested in making a theme yourself, uh, do, do check out the video. Uh, we walk through like how to 
bring up the GTK inspector, how to modify each of the components, and how to save off the, the CSS that, that you end up with. But but apart from that, that's pretty much it for this week. Um, it's been it's it's kind of getting to the crunch point because we're getting to freeze, uh, where we need to focus on trying to get some of these features in. Uh, please let me know if you are if you have issues or you have ideas. Um, thank you all very very much for your uh, support. So please do share these videos and uh, encourage others to join on because it, it it really helps. And uh, I will come back to you next week, hopefully with a further up update in how far we've progressed getting this uh, Boot Splash screen integrated. Um, thank you all very much.